Hey guys, we sure do miss you here at camp. Sometimes we get to feeling a little lonely here. And that's got me thinking a lot about what that word means, to be alone. You see guys, I grew up down in Mexico and I was part of a large, large family. I am actually the youngest of eight siblings. So that's a lot, a lot of people in the house and it gets loud and it gets noisy and crazy. And sometimes you just need a break from it all. And so I would go on hikes. And as I got older, I would go on camping trips with my friends and with my family. But when I got even older, my parents let me go on a solo camp out all by myself. And it was amazing. I was excited. I got all my gear together and I headed out into the woods. I set up a campsite. I made a little fire and it was all great until that night, as things got darker, I settled in for the night and I was, my fire was dying down. I looked around and it was dark and I realized how alone I was. But when I look back on it now, I know I was not actually alone. I've been reading in 1 Kings chapter six, and that is when King Solomon starts to build the temple. And this was a super special thing that he was doing. And it goes into deep detail about how he built that temple. He used planks and boards of cedar wood an expensive and beautiful wood. He worked hard and made sure that everything was crafted to the best of its abilities. This was an amazing, amazing temple. There were carvings, and after, the, all of it, after all of it, he overlaid everything with gold. It was an amazing piece of art. It had to be perfect. And the reason it had to be perfect was because this was going to be where God's presence resided. That was the special thing about the temple, why he put in so much work to make it perfect. And we're going to zoom forward because in the New Testament, we all know the story of Jesus coming and dying on the cross for our sins. And while he was doing that, something very interesting happened. We are told in Matthew that the veil, which is a curtain in the temple, tore from top to bottom. And that is really interesting. That symbolized when Jesus was dying for our sins, the opening up of God's presence so that he could come and be with us right where we are, right in our own homes, right where you are right now. We no longer need this perfect, beautiful temple any longer for his presence. He is present with me here and he's present with you there in your home, wherever you're at. We are never fully alone. God loves us, and because of that, he is constantly seeking to be with us. And he has done that through Jesus. And that is how we're never alone. 